This is the X-Tool S1, a 40 watt diode laser. We are gonna take a look at this machine, review all of its features, and then do some comparisons to some other similar products that are on the market, all in hopes of figuring out if this laser is right for you. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple projects and product reviews to help you in your creative journey. I have focused a lot on craft lasers. You can find all of my craft laser reviews down in the description. Today, we are adding in the brand new X-Tool S1. So the first thing I want to do is show you a quick unboxing of this machine. I normally don't show the unboxing process, but this machine was just so thoughtfully packaged. As soon as you open it up, there are straps that help you lift it out. And the foam is made in a way that each little piece that comes with it has a place. My machine shipped beautifully with everything included, no damage, no issues. So right off the bat, I will tell you that I have the X-Tool S1 with the 40 watt laser head, and my package came with an air assist and a honeycomb base. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about accessories and features later, but just know that there's a lot of different ways that you can build this machine to meet your needs. Let's dive into features. The first, and I think one of the most important things that we wanna talk about is safety. So this laser is fully enclosed, making it a class one laser. A class one laser is the kind that you wanna put in your craft room. It is incredibly safe. It has a fully enclosed frame and this kind of hard plastic up on top here that's tinted green. This is gonna allow me to look at the laser through this and not damage my eyes. The other enclosed lasers that we've looked at on this channel are all class one lasers as well and they are awesome for having in your craft room. Some other open style lasers are considered class four. Those are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to wear safety goggles and have some extra ventilation or use in a garage or a shed kind of out of your home. The S1 has a fan built into it and I am able to vent it out my window or you can attach it to a smoke purifier. Both of those options allow the fumes from whatever you're cutting and engraving to leave your space and not cause issues in the room that you're in. They also have a couple emergency features on here. So if this laser is working and I lift the top, it is going to stop. So you cannot operate this laser with the lid lifted. There is also an emergency stop button on the other side there. It's a big red button. So if anything goes wrong, I can hit that button and everything is gonna stop. Inside, there are some fire safety mechanisms. So there is flame detection in there. There is also like a tilt mechanism. So if this laser were to be tilted or bumped, while it was working, it's gonna automatically stop. So when you have something like this in your home, you can feel really good about operating it while your kids are in the next room or even just while you're working on other projects. So let's take a look at the back of the laser and how we set it up. Once I got it out of the box, installation was really easy. I needed to connect the vent hose, which is then gonna go out my window. There is a way to connect this to a USB cord, which then is gonna to go to my computer, or you can connect it via Wi-Fi. You do not need Wi-Fi to operate an X-Tool. Their software is downloaded on your computer and you can connect it with a cord. So if you don't have internet, that's okay. There's also a place on the back to hook up Air Assist. In earlier laser models, Air Assist was an add-on that you had to put in afterwards. What I like about this is I did get the air assist separate, but I only have to plug it into the back. It's already wired on the inside for me. So when we open up the machine, this is the laser head right here. And I have the honeycomb tray inside of it. I can easily remove that. The working area inside of here is about 19 and a half by 12 and a half inches. So it's a really good size working area for a diode laser. If you opt not to get the honeycomb base, this does come with some triangular prisms so you can lift your piece up off the base plate when you're cutting or engraving. This honeycomb right here is a really cool option. You just set it in and push it all the way to the right. It comes with these really cool little tools that are magnetic, so if I were to put my wood on there, this can just hold it right in place so it doesn't move around. 
This laser can cut at speeds up to 600 millimeters per second. That is really fast. So if you want a laser that is going to be efficient and work fast on your projects, 600 millimeters per second is an excellent speed. The 40 watt laser head can cut up to 20 millimeter thick pine board. Pine is a pretty soft wood, so the more dense the material you get, the less the thickness you're gonna be able to cut. But still, it is really impressive what this laser can do. So let's talk about this laser head here. So in addition to being a very powerful and fast laser, you have a couple other cool things going on here. You do have autofocus that comes with it. So there's no manual adjustment, like in some of the other open style lasers that we've seen. You can also engrave on uneven surfaces. So let's say you want to put a pattern inside of a bowl. You can put the wood bowl in here and XCS, the creative software that comes with Xtool, is gonna walk you through a multi-point measurement system so that you can engrave on a curved or uneven surface. This is a really big deal, especially if you've used lasers before. You know that engraving on flat surfaces is really easy, but if you're trying to do something that has a little bit of variation in it, um, your design can just be off. This is an excellent feature. So on every other enclosed laser that I've reviewed, there is a built-in camera. So even the Xtool M1, their last enclosed laser, there's a camera right on top. So when you close this lid, you see a picture in the software of where your material is, and that way you know how to place your designs. This has something different. This has a twin point alignment system. So you create your project in XCS and then you're gonna autofocus it, which you can do with the click of a button. Then you're gonna follow the prompts. And I love this about XCS. Their software has come a long way since it first launched. It is incredibly user-friendly, but it's gonna walk you through how to position it. So essentially you're gonna use the red crosshairs that come out of the laser and you're gonna position it in the top left corner, hit that little button over there. Then you're gonna move it down to the bottom left corner, no, the bottom right corner, top left, bottom right. And then you're gonna hit that button again. You're gonna do this every time you put a piece of material in. Then over in your software, it's gonna show you a box. You just put your design in that box and then it cuts. This gives you a lot of precision, a little bit more precision than a camera can give you but if you're used to using a camera, this is a little bit getting used to. If this is your first laser and you don't know what I'm talking about with the camera, this is gonna work beautifully for you. So let's talk about the interchangeable parts on the Xtool S1. The basic model is this box right here, comes with a vent hose to go out the window and it comes with a laser head. I opted for the 40 watt laser. You can also opt for the 20 watt laser. That is the basic model. From there, there's all kinds of things you can do to upgrade or change to fit the projects that you want to work on. So let's talk about laser heads first. This is 40 watt. You can also get it with a 20 watt. The 20 watt laser, still really fast, really accurate. It's slightly better at engraving because the laser point is actually a little bit smaller although I have excellent results with the 40 watt here. You can also get an IR module. This is different than, it's a different wavelength than a diode laser, and it allows you to engrave on precious metals. I have a full review on the IR module coming up very soon. I will link it in this video as soon as that's available. What I like is that you can change them out. So if I opted for this, I can also purchase the IR module and swap them out as needed. I've already talked about the honeycomb base that I have here and the air assist. The S1 also comes with a riser base, so I can lift this whole thing up. Now, if you've seen my M1 videos, you know that when I put mine on risers, I put it on wood blocks. So the base underneath um, is open, which means I then have to wear goggles. It's not as safe as it being fully enclosed. They don't offer that option with this model. It's only a riser base which means it's completely enclosed all the time, no matter what you're working on, making it even more safe. With that riser base and bringing everything up, I can then add the rotary tool. It is the same rotary tool that I use with my M1. Take a look at this video up here. I talk all about a rotary tool and why I love it. You can engrave all kinds of cylinders. You can engrave a baseball, a tumbler, a mug, a glass, tons of things. The final thing you can do with this is add a conveyor. So we said that the width of this is about 
19, I think it's 19.6 inches wide. When you rise this up and put the conveyor on it, you can go incredibly long. So you would create your design and then just feed your piece of material all the way through. So you really have some options here to make this machine what you want. Even if the first thing that you bought was just the basic package with the 20 watt module, a year from now, if you wanted to upgrade or start doing tumblers or use a conveyor, you absolutely can. So let's compare this S1 to some other fully enclosed class one lasers that are out there. So let's start with the Glowforge Aura. This came out earlier this year. It is a six watt diode laser, incredibly easy to use. There are some limitations on size and shape of materials that you're able to cut, but very user friendly. Then we have the Xtool M1, which came out about a year ago prior to this machine. It has a 10 watt laser and a blade cutter built in. This is an incredible machine for a crafter. So you can take a look at my comparison of both the Aura and the, or the, the, Aura and the M1 right up above. Uh, I really put those two head to head and help you figure out which one is gonna be best for your craft room. The next laser in this category is the We Create Vision. This is brand new, came out right alongside the S1 here. I just did a review on this video. You can find that in the description as well. This is a 20 watt laser. It has an auto feature where it rises all by itself. You don't need to add a riser base or anything like that. Can also use a rotary tool. There will be a comparison of the We Create Vision and the S1 20 watt. I find those two models match up almost perfectly. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that very soon to help you kind of put those two head to head. This S1 40 watt is kind of in a class by itself. I have yet to see another 40 watt class one diode laser out on the market that I would feel comfortable putting in my craft room. It is still a laser that crafters can get a lot out of. I have made a ton of really cool projects with this, but it's not just a craft laser. You can cut really thick materials. You can engrave, you can work fast with this. I mean, if you're looking to do production, this is an amazing machine for that. So let's talk about price. The 40 watt Xtool S1 is $23.99. That is the price in November of 23. Down in the description, there are links to the product page for this laser and you can find the current price on it. If you are looking at getting any laser, especially one this powerful, don't wait on the air assist. Just add that. You are gonna see just a night and day difference with your engraving and your cutting. You're, gonna, you're not gonna have any char. It's just, it is beautiful. So today we took an in-depth look at the Xtool S1, a 40 watt diode laser for cutting and engraving all kinds of materials. I hope this gave you a good overview of what this machine can do and gave you some food for thought to figure out if this is right for you. You're gonna see a lot more videos coming up on the S1. I have some comparison videos in the works, as well as some details on what that IR module can do with precious metals. If you have any questions on something I didn't cover, let me know down in the comments. I would love to chat. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. I am here every week with brand new videos covering craft tech like this and all kinds of simple creative projects that you can do at home. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.